What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <sighs> and today, man, tonight, man, I'm going to talk about tonight's East Regional Sweet 16 matchup. You had the number two seeded Michigan State Spartans beating the number three seeded LSU Tigers 80 to 63. And Michigan State advances to the Elite Eight. And uh, for my LSU Tigers, man, the season, you know, comes to an end. Uh, first off, man, before I get, I got a lot of things to say, man. Um, before I get into all that, I want to first and foremost wish the Michigan, uh, congratulate the Michigan State Spartans and their fans. You know, um, they, they got a good basketball team, man. They got a great coach, obviously a Hall of Fame coach in Tom Izzo. Um, they got good players, man. Cassius Winston's a good player. Aaron Henry, you know, played a really good game, man. Um, after that tongue lashing he received from Tom Izzo in the first round. Um, you know, a lot of the, they they just got a good team, man. They 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 a well balanced team. You know, they defend hard, they tough, they rebound, you know, they shoot it, they shoot it decent, man. They they move the ball. It's a good basketball team, man. And um their number two seed and was in the conversation for a number one seed, you know, for a reason. You know, there was the Big Ten regular season champ. Big Ten tournament champs. They got a good basketball team, and it was well deserving of this win tonight. So I tip my cap to them. And um, before I get into everything that I think went wrong in this game for us, and and that was unfortunate, you know, um, I want to thank this LSU basketball team, man, for a fun ride, man, a fun season, yo. This is the first time in a long time, man, that. Us LSU fans have been excited about a basketball team, man. Um, you know, just a couple of years ago, you know, uh, well, a few years ago, we had the debacle with Ben Simmons where we thought this team could accomplish the thing. That team could accomplish things similar to this team, and they didn't even make the tournament and decided to not even go into the NIT. You know, then we had like a 2-16 and 16 SEC team, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... And for this team, man, the way the season started, yo, with the tragedy of Wade Sims, man, you know, him getting gunned down, man. Um, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was actually on my birthday weekend when it happened. And for this team, man, to not only, you know, be a good team, they win when they was picked like sixth or seventh preseason in the SEC to win the SEC regular season with a 16 and 2 conference record to go nine and oh on the road in the sec man you know great wins man the the, unfor uh, the unforgettable win at kentucky man with the tip in controversial or not you know we tipped it in we got the win for the big time win at home against tennessee with no tremont waters man to pull that thing out you know um the overtime wins man the the, the missouri comeback on the road you know, uh, the Florida went on the road, man. The uh, Auburn, you know, who who doing their thing. <laughs> you know, we was down 16 of them early and came back in the second half and got the win. Um, you know, we got the unfortunate situation now with Will Wade. You know, um, you know we don't know what's going to happen, you know, with Javante Smart when all of this gets settled. Um we don't, I'm assuming Nas Reed is going to go to the NBA. I'm assuming this was his last game with LSU because he is projected as a, a first-round draft pick. Um, Cavell Bigby Williams was a senior. You know, uh, Tremont Waters, man, I feel like he should come back, you know, another year. But, you know, you never know, man. Like, you know, he actually thought about the NBA last year, you know. Um, so I don't know. You know, I hope he comes back. I hope Smart could play next year. You know, it'll be nice to have Waters, Smart, um, Emmett Williams, you know, Darius Days, you know, um, Skylar Mays as a senior. You know, it'll be nice to get all these guys back with this experience in this tournament run, man, and um, and try to do big things again next season. But, you know, I'm really proud of this basketball team, man. It was a fun season. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing, I enjoyed doing videos about this team. I enjoyed watching the games. I enjoyed connecting with, um, you know, with the people who are, I'm, who are kind enough to follow me on this topic. You know, I really enjoyed it, man. Um, you know, now into this actual game, you know, uh, 
We just, we ain't had it tonight, man. We didn't have it defensively at all. We were leaving shooters wide open. We didn't have it, you know, the rebound. I know Michigan State was a, one of the best rebounding teams in the country. And I know they one of the best assist teams in the country. But it was disappointing, man, to see them out hustlers and out rebounders the way they did, man. That's one thing for them to knock down threes like they did. But it was disappointing, especially at first had to see us get just out hustled and out rebounded like that, especially on the offensive glass, man. Um, they had some matchup problems, man. Henry was a matchup problem. We didn't match up well with them. Um, Nas Reed, like, it's been an issue with us all season, man. For some reason, it's not till the second half when he starts asserting himself. You know, he started coming on a little bit at the end in the paint, which is something he should have been doing early on in the game because, I mean, they, all, they had smaller guys particularly on him that – we're bringing him out to the three-point line and hitting threes, and he's, he's not agile enough to get out to the three-point line and defend them. But you got to make up for that by going on the other end and getting down in the paint and, and, and scoring down on the block. But we didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tremont Waters was absolutely sensational, man. Um, he did his thing, man, offensively. Honestly, I felt like he should have shot the ball, the ball, especially the three-pointer, a little more than he did. I felt like he should have probably, you know, played a little more hero ball because, you know, the other guys, you know, Mays didn't really have it tonight. Smart didn't have it tonight, you know. So I felt like he really should have, you know, asserted himself a little more offensively. But, you know, he had a big-time game, man. Um, I think he did a great job, man. I think he showed, you know, everybody that he's, he's a real legit player. Um, yeah, it was just disappointing, man. We didn't take advantage, you know, of our size on the offensive end. And defensively, man, they, they got out to the three-point line, they knocked down shots, and they out-hustled us. You know, in the second half, you know, we we went into the halftime down 12 by Waters hitting the three before the break, came out here to breathe a, uh, three to start the second half, got a steal in the layup. Next thing you know, man, we cut the lead down to four. And I'm like, all right, this is the Tiger team that I know. Then you look again, the lead is back up to 15, man. And after that, I'm just like, I don't think we're going to do it tonight. <laughs> like, once that lead went from full back to, like, 15, I just – I was hoping it could have happened. But in my heart, I'm like, man, this, this is just not going to happen tonight, man. Like, for, we haven't played a full 40-minute game all year, too, man. That's another thing. It's too many times wherever we get out to big leads on teams and then they come back, you know. And it's too many times where teams get out to big leads on us and then we come back. We never just consistently play a full 40 minutes of basketball and put a team away, you know. That's something we struggled with all year, all season long. You know, um, like I said, it's disappointing, man. It, it, You know, it's a bad taste in my mouth, in our, all of our mouths, man. But it's been a fun season, man. It's been a fun season, you know, now... The FBI wiretap thing is a serious topic, man. Um, hopefully, Will Wade is, you know, absolved from all of this, and he could come back on the sideline. He could coach again. He could recruit again. But, man, this is a real issue that, that's hanging over our program right now. If we are forced to fire Will Wade, you know, where do we go from here, yo? Like, where do we go from here, man? I like Tony Benford. I think he did a good job filling in for Will Wade. But I don't think, you know, honestly, I don't think he's the long-term solution as our basketball head coach. I don't know who is. You know, if it's not Will Wade, I don't know who we go get. You feel me? But, yeah, man. Um, First, though, we got to see what's up with this Will Wade situation. Then, you know, I'm assuming, like I said, maybe I'm wrong. I'm assuming Nas Reed will, go to, will enter the NBA draft. I hope Tremont Waters comes back for another year. Um, I hope, you know, guys like Javante Smart and, you know, um, I'm a, well, I feel confident Skylar Mays is going to come back. But I hope Javante Smart comes back. I hope he's cleared by the NCAA and that he comes back for another year. I think another year could do him really good. You know, um, and there are guys like Darius Days and Emmett Williams could only get better from this, man. But uh, overall, yo, good season by the Tigers, man. SEC regular season champs, you know, um, 9-0 on the road in the SEC. Boot up was a real thing this season. 
Forever 44, man. This team played inspired, went through a lot of adversity, and gave us a fun ride, man. Obviously, we wish it could have lasted a little longer. Wish we could have got a shot at Duke, but you know it is what it is. It be like that sometimes. But um, congratulations to Michigan State, man, and and you know good basketball team, great coach, obviously. But um, great job, Tigers. With that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have LSU basketball and NCAA basketball content throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.